My name is Mike, I'm a mechanical engineer here at CSIRO. Uh, I travelled to Cyprus in 2014 as part of the uh, Cyprus Solar Thermal Project to build the heliostats and install them into the field there. We got to enjoy the fantastic coastal location of the heliostat field there. It's built right on the edge of the ocean where they can access seawater for desalination. The project has 50 heliostats uh, which concentrate light up onto the top of the tower where they can use the heat from the heliostats uh, which comes from the sun, they can use that heat to desalinate water and to also create electricity. The field in total can collect around 150 kilowatts of energy. So around about enough energy to boil a two litre jug of water in around five seconds. Cyprus, an island state, uh, the southernmost and easternmost state of the European Union, has lots of sunshine, not enough water and is cut off from the continental power grid of Europe. So we need electricity and water. So solar energy, we think, is the answer to part of this uh, problem. Gen desalinate water with using solar energy and at the same time produce electricity. CSIRO has a lot of those technologies. Frankly, we think among the best in the world. And we would like to learn from uh, the research being done here, import some of these technologies and develop a cooperation uh, agreement so we can exchange ideas, what we learn uh, to achieve those goals, which are useful not only for Cyprus, but for many parts of the world. This project has been fantastic for us. Uh, it's the first time we've built our heliostats out outside of our own backyard. That was a big step for us. Uh, normally we don't do that sort of thing, but in the case of Cyprus, they were a fantastic partner. They understood the, the research uh, initiatives that we were undertaking. They understood the issues associated with uh, developing a new facility in a new country. So that partnership has worked really well. And I guess it now sets a platform for uh, a decade of uh, ongoing collaborative research between our countries. Uh, in addition, it's, it's given CSIRO a lot of confidence in understanding how we're going to uh, deploy these things outside of our, our own safety zone and into other environments. So that's where we want to go. We want these things to be commercialised and, um, and build on the good research that we're doing now. Um.